Big Rip. Was that one of your favorite girls? I'm gonna be honest. Like, I would have never known who they were talking about if I didn't have if like if Taylor didn't look up on uh, my animal list. I had no idea who that was. <laughs> so, oh, the girl who died at the end. Yeah, when they were worth saying like the name, like uh-huh. we, like we were like, who the hell's that? And then even at the end of the episode, we're like, who just died? And then we had to look it up what? online. But, no, I have to confirm. The girl that the girl that died is the one that was talking with Lena and having oh, yeah, like, a know, more now. human yeah. conversation, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, no, I just wanted to make your eye understand correctly. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Girl. So yeah. I'll say like. As much of a fan I am of this show, it's like, I thought this episode wasn't, I don't know. I didn't even feel much for this episode. Like, it felt like the I first episode the has, thing. like, much more of an impact. Monster. Where, whereas, like, this you one, monster. I mean, I still enjoy the show. It's like, <laughs> this, I don't know. Just something, about, something about this episode, I don't know. It's like, the pacing, or just, like, just the way they present it. It's like, because we kind of already knew, like, like I get it. Like, there's a lot of racism in this society. There's a lot of prejudice. And they're trying to show, like, hey, just because you're, like, our our handler doesn't mean, like, you understand what we're going through. Like, I get it. I kind of, like, I, I feel like that was established in the first episode. So I kind of wish. The second to the third. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of wish, like, I feel like the strength of the show is, like, is really the action scene. So I wish you could see more, really more of that. Or more in the lore like like we've only basically been like in lena's room and the the doctor's room and then like the the one like like building that the 86 people live so i kind of wish to expand outside of that too so i guess i guess they're trying to go more of the character focus but again it just feels like we kind of already went through that the first two episodes so hmm. it kind of felt like unnecessary this episode so, so this episode opened up with like that beach scene you know with like all the characters like oh, yeah. goofing around and, and, the river. Yeah. Yeah. and like yeah. it was a scene i turned to threaten and i was like i feel like this needs to happen later in the series like when we know their names and like there's too many characters i barely know who they are yet and so yeah. i can't really I mean, it's kind of yeah. cute but it's like I, it's not really funny like because i don't know you guys <laughs> it's yeah. like it's like nope. it's like inside <laughs> jokes and I, and I don't care and then like later on i think that david may be part of the reason why you're feeling the way you feel and i i feel it too is because, like you said, they've established there's racism. It's been established in every single episode. Like, we know. But then they're not, like, taking steps to move forward with an actual plot. There is some character development, so I'll give them that. Um, but the, no progress has been made plot-wise, really. It's, it's a girl died, but, like, we barely knew who she was. I don't know. And then on top of that... Um, oh, oh, shoot, what was my other point? Oh, yeah. And then at the very end... If you didn't already know that there's racism going on, there's some asshat who like yells at her for like five minutes straight at the very end, and it just felt a li- like a little bit much, like super heavy handed. At least that's how how I felt. Like I get it. In what yeah. purpose I, was that supposed to make us emotional or what? <laughs> I think the thing that was tough for me is like how much time has passed since he became the operator. I don't think they've the spearhead said. group. Have they said or have they showed like anything in like her diary entries? Like that's what uh, I thought they were going to do. I think they do, did, like, but uh, I don't remember. Like because he, yeah, I, I don't remember. Because I, th- I think it said yeah, he's, so he's about to finish his five year term or something. Yeah, I remember that. Fifth, and then he was asking him like, "Yeah, what are you going to do? You know, once you get out?" And, and they say like, they're all like oh, the same age. I haven't so thought I assume, of it. I think I assume they're high schoolers. So I assume he's probably yeah. like eighteen or something. So, but it's more so just like I don't know how much time Lena has spent with them. So it's like I can't really get that credence towards. I think. Okay, because the so, first, the first, like, um, what was it like? I think the first incident was either May thirteenth or May mm-hmm. something, and now they're in June. So okay, it's only okay. Been a so month. that definitely helped because that that was me kind of trying to rationalize like the ending, kind of chastising as Taylor said of him just ripping into Lena and saying like, you know, you act like you know you care about the eighty six, but you don't even know our names. And so I was trying to figure out like, okay, how long has she had to even break that barrier down? So. I can totally yeah. see that from, you know, her saying all these idealistic things and then she doesn't even get to know them really from a I mean, personal yeah, standpoint. That, so that that that, that dig deep. So that ending is supposed to be like like of course it's like you know, just uh the people being oppressed, like they obviously hate the uh the alpha people and then also the attack on Lena's character, just how she's yep. naive. Just saying like, you're you're not different, you're the same as all other, you know, uh race of that silver haired group. Just like how like I guess maybe she assumed like she could. It's just if she like worked hard and was super nice, like they accept her. And she again her her character being naive about not understanding how how 
the feel. So I guess I guess they're trying to go that angle, but I think I do agree with Taylor. It is a bit much, like because we, we get it as the audience. So, so they're kind of leaning too much into that. The one thing yeah, I like I like I agree. Sorry, friend, just really quick, one second. I agree with how he feels. Like, I think he has every right to feel that way. I just feel that the writers writing it that way for us to digest as viewers, like you said, David, was just heavy handed, like the way they approached it. Sorry, go ahead, Sretton. Well, I, the whole thing is that I kind of thought it was like bad where where they, they they bring the whole thing about how, you know, when the guy's yelling at her, how, you know, she doesn't know their names. But at the same time, they like they've mentioned that she calls them or talks to them like every day. And you feel like at some point that should have been covered. <laughs> You think that you know some like because they they show well, just social just like normal conversations. The way they um, say it, it's like it sounds like their peers handlers didn't really care much about them. So again, they're bringing that like that's fair. That too, yeah. and but I mean, the, yeah. I can't help but think though it's like it's a two way street. Like yeah, yes, that, I know you're this group that's say, been yeah. oppressed upon, but it's like hey, you never took the time. Like obviously, Lena as an operator has shown that she cares about your aspirations and much more. Like you could equally turn around and say. How come you never told me your name? How come yeah. you never had that confidence there? And and they could say like, well, we've been oppressed for years and years. But at the end of the day, like it's a two way street. You I know, think it can't that's... just be everything has to come from Lena. It's like that's putting a lot on her as a character, admittedly. That's what um that's what like the, the one girl who died, Kirsch, whatever. Like she was like sort of that that way. Or first she said like she doesn't like um she she knows that not not all the alphas are bad people and not all the eighty six are good. And she was saying herself too. She was like some other like race within eighty six. So even then, she felt discriminated there too. So she was supposed to be that character. It's just that she died. So I guess we didn't have someone to speak up for Lena. Right? Yeah, I, I then, thought this episode could have meant more if it was later, like later in the season. No, they just need to take out the first ten minutes of the episode, and they would have been just fine. <laughs> And then, there you go, and then just add something else, like or maybe like the name part, like the ne- the name of the next episode. How, how did you guys feel about the little like side scene with like Lena and um, Annette, like searching through the archives to get like the map? I felt like that was completely just like, yeah, just added in to be like the plot convenience mm-hmm. of why no, I was you okay know. With that. I was died. actually I was okay kinda... with. That. Yeah, I, I was don't okay know. With that just just because she was using that map um, later on. Like when she was like giving like the, the direction yeah, order. but I feel like it's just there to add like more emotion between like Lena and Annette in like a friendly way. Like, yes, I get the end purpose of it is to provide them with more updated materials, but right. I don't know. I feel like it's it was there to kind of try to build that kind of relationship more, but I felt like I, it wasn't necessary. I, I only took away just like it just made it seem like Lena's more really focused on work because Annette was trying to talk more about personal stuff while like her like marriage. Hunts, and just Lena just completely ignored it and just like focus on work. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it focuses that she cares about the eighty six, and then obviously because it didn't happen quick enough, you know, it led to the, the kind of they conclusion did bring up the map did, later, but... like saying, "Oh, if only I found this earlier, I could have saved." Yeah, yeah. So I get that there, but uh, if if anything, I, I feel know. like this episode was just to highlight how naive like Lena was, right? Like she's always talking all this stuff True. about how you know these guys are people they deserve our help we shouldn't treat them this way yada yada uh, but at the end of the day she doesn't really take it that seriously right like she's hanging out for a friend in a safe zone she's clumsily looking for a map you know they find it and then you know this is like super important information that you should be giving out your units but now she thinks about it and then she's not like rushing to find this information to give to her units she's just kind of like nonchalantly getting it and then, um, like, the conversation that she had with uh, the girl that died, I think, Kaye or whatever it was. Kirsch, like, yeah. Yeah, she even mentioned it, too. Like, like I, when she said virgin, she meant, like, naive, I'm assuming. Naive, right? yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it really just hammers that point home that, you know, this girl, she's trying to play army, but she doesn't really understand how harsh it is out here, outside the walls. And then, hopefully, with the ending scene, that's meant to, like, break that, like... Uh, like break that wall and let Lena like see how the world truly is, and hopefully she grows from this. Okay. And see, now, with, with with this kind of episode, they gotta take out that fan service in the first ten minutes, and I think this would have been a lot more impactful. Okay. When you mention like that, Ku, it makes much more sense now. Like, so I'm hoping that like later on I can look back and see. Okay, this is the part where she like she did break away from that naive like state of mind. So that's that's what we mm-hmm. should have like walk away with it was like that feeling that that ku was saying but it just didn't mm-hmm. feel like that so i guess it could have been done there, this episode 
Yeah. One like one point to actually back up um to back to, to back her up was actually with the the whole map and how the the whole shipments like the 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 it sounds like she is is wanting to get that information to them, mm-hmm. but it's like who the hell is actually the ones who who get that information to them? That's true. It could be and, a supply and assu- chain issue. Yeah. Of getting and it assuming there. how racist like you know these people are, I'm assuming they're gonna take their sweet ass time getting it to them. That's, right. that's just yeah. like how like how but I would see that. Point. I think uh, it's just more of like. Like Lena, like just because she's better than like a lot of the ha- previous handlers doesn't mean that, like she doesn't mean she's up to the standard of like of the yeah, annoying ha- what war is actually like. So more yeah. again, more of that. Exactly like could be said, you can thing. be great at test taking and all these things, but until you put it into actual real world practice, it means nothing. Yeah, yeah. basically. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, I, yeah. I'm still gonna continue watching the show. I'm sure it gets oh, yeah. better. I'm hoping uh, yeah. like Hopefully. next week we we'll, uh, something more, more of the action scene, more. The lore. I'm like, sure we will get back to our boy think, Shin and his action scenes because he has. Such a, I don't think any involvement in this episode besides like maybe one line at the yeah. end when he's just like, "All right, we're going out." So, <laughs> one more question, quick to you guys: Does this count as the beach episode? Are we past this now? Let's hope so. I hope. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> I no. mean, they look they look all right, but you know, like <laughs> that's not what I'm here for. All right. Really. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So, again, I'm still a fanboy for the show. Like I'm just. One of the expectations, because it was like one of my favorite types of anime.